हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डी के गौतम एंड थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इंटरव्यू पॉइंट सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू लर्न हाउ टू राइट द लॉजिक फॉर दिस पैटर्न प्रोग्राम सो गाइस इफ यू रिमेंबर इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न दिस प्रोग्राम सो वी हैव प्रिंटेड दिस स्टार पैटर्न प्रोग्राम बट हियर इट लुक्स लाइक सिमिलर सो द पैटर्न इज सिमिलर बट हियर वी हैव प्रिंटेड द जस्ट स्टार and here we we are just printing number so here one thing is common our value always start from one okay so in the first row and first column i need to print one in the second row and first column i need to print one in the third row first column i need to print one so this is common so like this the second column also the third column also fourth column also and fifth column also so this is the pattern we need to remember this okay so our row value is always start from 1 so guys i will do one thing i will copy the logic of this program because i just need to change the logic to print this number only okay so let me open my visual studio visual yes, studio is your video open. in hindi please help me with your vote you just need to click on this community tab and here poll is created it will take hardly 1 to 2 second for you Let so please open my visual video. studio visual studio is already open so what i can do here i just need to add one class so class and i can say uh, increment number num pattern okay so like this i can give the name now also, i recommend I you do? please watch this previous video carefully i will give you the link in the description of this video so please watch this video first before proceeding now what i will do i am just going to copy the code of this previous star pattern program okay so let me copy and paste it here okay guys don't worry i will explain each and everything now what i said to you i just need to change the logic to print this number so for that what i will do i need to create one new variable okay so i can say i can give any name uh, suppose i am giving here a and a i am going to start it from 1 why 1 because as you can see here our row value is always starting from 1 so in this program actually it is printing one row okay so here it is printing the column 1 column 2 column 3 okay so it will print the complete row for us okay now what i will do i have created this a variable and i have assigned one okay now instead of a star what i need to print here i need to print the value of a and then i need to give the space okay so this changes i need to require and then what i can do i need to increase the value of a so now a plus plus that's all i need to do okay guys now my program logic is done let me remove the unused name space and then i need to set the startup object so startup object will be increment num pattern okay now i need to run this so click on this start button and then enter a number okay i can give the same number as you can see on the screen so 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 like this our program is working fine as expected now i need to tell you how this program will work and i will just tell you here let me dry run this also it always start from one row is always start from one because so here we can see one and then row row is what is the value of row it is one and num what is the value of num suppose user entered 5 okay user enter 5 so num value is 5 row value is 1 so this condition is true if this condition is true our loop our controller will go inside this loop and then it will uh, create it will assign a new value or we can say 1 to a integer variable called a so it will assign this value 1 to a a variable okay now there is another loop what this loop is doing actually it, it is printing the column value okay here call is equal to row so row value is now 1 so what will be the column value call value is 1 because row value is 1 okay now call less than equal to num num is 
the condition is true condition is true it means it will the controller will go inside this loop if the controller will go inside this loop then what it will print it will print the value of a so what is the value of a as of now currently we are having a value is 1 so it will print 1 and then 1 space okay now it will increase the value of a plus plus so now a value will be 2 okay value has been increased and now it will come here controller will come here and it will increase the column value now column value will be 2 and it will check this condition this condition is satisfied if the condition is satisfied then controller will come inside and 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 then it will print the value of a currently we are having a value is 2 so it will print 2 okay now again it will increase the value of a so now new value of a will be 3 okay now control will again come here and then it will increase the value of this call so the now the call value is 3 now it will check the condition call is 3 and num is 5 this condition is true yes because 3 is less than 5 okay the condition is true it will come inside and then it will print this line so a value is now 3 okay now a value is 3 then it will increase the value of a now new value of a will be 4 okay now new value of a is 4 then controller will come here and it will increase the value of call now call value will be 4 a call value is 4 it will check the condition this condition is again true and then it will print the uh, new value here a value a value is currently we are having 4 so it will print 4 here okay now it will again increase the value of a now new value of a is 5 okay so uh, new value of a is 5 and then it will the control will come here and it, it will come here it will increase the value of call then call now new value of call is 5 now this condition is again true because it is equal if the condition is true then it will come inside this and it will print the value of a value of a is 5 and then one space okay now it will again increase the value of a now new value of a is 6 now controller will come here and controller will come here now call value will be 6 now controller will come here and it will check the condition this condition is not true if the condition is not true so what it will come come outside this loop and then it will print the new line so new line will be printed here like this okay and then again new line will start again like this so guys like this our uh, this program is working okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video still if you have any doubt you can ask me through comment guys if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe to my channel also please provide your feedback thank you we'll see you in the next video bye bye